Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. I only make videos whenever I feel like it, whenever I find something interesting enough to talk about. So, I think I just found something I find interesting enough to talk about it. So, let's talk about it. Have you guys heard of the Mandela Effect? Because I have, and I did it a while ago. It started like back when Mandela died, but I didn't pay much attention to it. It seemed to me like nonsense, right? Like just false collective memories. Right, and for you guys who are not familiar with it, the Mandela effect uh, refers to like when Mandela died, for example, a lot of people remember Mandela dying like previously, like he had already died, like either in prison or like a few years before. So, the Mandela effect is a name used to describe why people remember things differently than they happen or remember different things completely. However, I think that most of them, most of the Mandela Effect examples I've seen, they seem like just false collective memories, but that just people remembering things wrong, right? Like it's, it can happen, especially like the Staples logo or the Home Depot, maybe you just never paid attention. However, the one, there was one example that really intrigued me and I wanted to talk about, and that is the Fly My Pretty Fly from Wizard of Oz. I, I don't know about you guys, but I... I even did the Wizard of Oz in school. So this is a very, very, and as you can see here in Wikipedia, it refers to it as one of the greatest films in cinema history. The Wizard of Oz has been, at least I started in school. We watched the movie, we wrote essays about it. People studied this in school. It's, it's a literary classic. So it seems kind of weird to me that people get a quote from a literary classic so clearly wrong, and so many times. So let's take a look at the scene, how it happened. So this is the scene when the Wicked Witch uh, sends her flying monkeys after Dorothy. So here, let's, let's take a look at that video. Take your army to the haunted forest and bring me that girl and her dog. Do what you like with the others, but I want her alive and unharmed. They'll give you no trouble, I promise you that. Pay attention, pay close attention to the theme song, because that's what lets you know that they're paying homage to this scene. I've set a little insect on the head to take the fight out of them. Okay, as you can see there, she never say my pretty. She just say fly, fly, fly. That's not how I remember it, but let's see. It's not just me. Let's see how many people remember it differently. For example, let's take a look at the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So another great, great Disney film. It's just an amazing film. I watched it too. Here they're paying homage to that scene. And take a look. This is the same thing, music, and it's clearly an homage to The Wizard of Oz. Let's take a look at it. Think for a second how that happened. Think for a second how that was even possible. They must have looked at... The, in order to pay an homage to the scene, you'd have to like go back, revisit it, get the thing, because they obviously it's the same theme song. So obviously they looked at the scene to get the same thing, to play a theme song, to play homage to it. So they, once they look at the scene, you're telling me they didn't find, they, they got it wrong, they didn't get the quote right. It's only one quote, it's like a sentence. It's fly my pretty fly. You're telling me they got it wrong, they didn't get the fly, fly, fly. Seems a bit weird to me. Let's see who else got it wrong. This guy's too, same sex. Fly, my pretties. Fly! <laughs> As we can see there, it's clearly flying monkeys. It's the flying monkeys, so they're playing homage to the flying monkey scene in, in The Wizard of Oz. And again, they must have looked at the scene and then yet they remember it differently or didn't pay attention when they were looking at it at the time to make this scene. I don't know what they were thinking, because even I'm, in order to make a video about the, the Wizard of Oz, I had to look at the scene first, right? I'm pretty sure these guys, in order to make an homage to that scene, must have looked at the, at the scene over, right? But apparently they didn't. They just got the theme song, but they didn't get the rest. Even this Jewish misinformation agent remembers it differently. Look at this. Once more onto the breach, my friends. Simply go to this URL and tell the FCC to preserve debt neutrality and Title II. Once again, commenters, America needs you to rise or, more accurately, remain seated in front of your computer screen to this occasion. So please, fly my pretties, fly once more! 
There we go, fly my pretties. This guy again, look at this guy. One direction forever. It's another video. I'm talking to you. One direction sucks balls. We need you to get out there and for once in your lives, focus your indiscriminate rage in a useful direction. Seize your moments, my lovely trolls. Turn on Caps Rock and fly my pretties. There we go, man. Let's take a look at that scene, at the arena scene one more time. Because I don't know if this if this could be just a case of false collective memory. It just seems to go over all that many people's head and nobody notice it. just seems weird. But look at the scene again because it, it almost seems like somebody changed it. Look at how, now think about this scene and how awkward it is. Because it's just not well acted, not well written. The dialogue is not great. For her to just say fly, fly, fly just multiple times as the monkeys fly away. It's just poorly written. It's not befitting of the, of the classical, or as they say here, one of the greatest films in cinema history with that poor writing and that and the scene. Let's look at the scene again and you'll see how awkward it comes off without the fly, my pretty fly. Don't give me no trouble, I promise you that. I've set a little insect on ahead to take the fight out of them. <laughs> Fly, fly, fly. I don't get it, man. Seems pretty awkward to me. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about. It's up to you guys to decide. I don't think this one can be easily tossed aside as a false collective memory, but let me know what you think on the comments, man. Okay, guys, take care.